Hey, good evening. It's uh, February 27th, Tuesday. Welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. We're going to continue looking at Ephesians through this lens that we see in chapter 1, where Paul says his purpose, he's praying for us, the Ephesians and those who will be reading the book of Ephesians, that's us, that we would know the hope, the purpose that God has called us to, that we would be blown away with the glorious inheritance that is ours, and then we would know the incomparably great power that we have, the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Those are the things he wants us to read this book through and be excited about. That's his purpose, at least the major one. So last night we looked at this wonderful verse in in chapter 3, verse 20, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we have, can ask or imagine according to his great power. So, well, what a beautiful thought. Now, remember, the Ephesians, the folks at Ephesus, got the book of Ephesians, a letter actually, a long letter, it's just a few pages long here, and they sat down and they read it all at one time. It didn't have any chapter headings, didn't have any titles, didn't have any verses. It's just a letter. So let me read this section as if there's no chapter break here. Not to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is with work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. So that's a logical break. We sh- he makes the shift from the basic doctrinal content of the book into the practical application verses, chapters 4 through 6. But remember, the folks that are reading this, they don't know that. They just know that the amen, that's cool. Now, amen. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you've received. So now we're getting, you're listening to this, you're getting kind of excited. I'm going to do immeasurably more than anything I can ask or imagine. And now Paul is urging me to live a life worthy of the calling I've received. So we're ready to be all fired up because what's this glorious mission, Lord, that you have for us? Paul, what are you envisioning for us to be about? Well, here it comes. Be completely gentle. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. And you think about that for a minute. The thumbnail tonight has a bear. And obviously it's a play on words. But I would suggest we're about as excited as at verse 2 of this tremendous buildup, living a life worthy of the calling we received. And then be humble and gentle and patient? We're about as excited as that as we are to see a bear in the woods. This is not what we had envisioned. We have envisioned great and glorious things. Well, the great and glorious things that God has for us, the Spirit has for us, is to be humble. Completely humble. Humble means I care about someone else more than I do myself. As Paul says in Philippians, consider others more important than yourself. To be gentle. Not to be fly off the handle, but use only the force necessary to get the job done with kindness. Like Jesus. And to be patient. Waiting on the Lord. Living in the expectation of his care. And then if you do that, you'll be able to bear with one another in love. Well, that's so often the last thing that we want to do is bear with someone in love. Like I say, we're as excited to do that as we're about seeing that bear in the woods. I want to, I want to be frustrated with that person. What's going on with them? Why, why aren't they more considerate? Why aren't they more kind? Why, how can they be so selfish? But Paul here, through the ministry of the Spirit, is saying, be humble, be gentle, be patient, and Bear with them in love. Take your time with them. Care for them. 
Don't be put off by the thing that makes you upset. You know, saying to bear with them in love means <laughs> there's a reason to bear. People are going to be frustrating. Especially the closer you get to folks, the more frustrating they're going to be. Because the more we get to know each other, the more we begin to realize this person is in need of the work of Christ in their life. We all are. So, this immeasurably asking, God saying he's able to do immeasurably more than anything we can ask or imagine. And then to do something, living a life worthy of the calling. Well, I need to, that grace of God to be able to help me to do immeasurably more than I can ask or imagine with that person that's frustrating me. That's what we're being called to do. And to put aside my upset and my, my agendas and love them the way that God loves me. Suppose God started getting frustrated with me on the level, level of my behavior. We don't want that, do we? Well, that's what Paul is saying here. Live a life worthy of your calling. And then right off the bat, he gets right down to the very basic stuff of life. Not the grand, glorious things that we're imagining. But to imagine that we can do immeasurably more, God can do immeasurably more than anything we ask or imagine. To be humble, to be gentle, to be patient with those that God has placed in our life. And bear with them in love, care about them. Not be frustrated, not be angry, not be offended, but bear with them in love. As we're going to see, we're going to be pointing to unity here. But right now, let's see what the Holy Spirit is doing here. He's bringing this glorious truth right down to where you and I live. And we don't want any part of it most of the time. Like I say, we want to avoid it like we avoid that bear. But the Holy Spirit is calling us as we interact with each other to live a life that is worthy of the calling that we've been given. And that means I want to be humble. I want to be gentle. I want to be patient. I want to bear with God's folks that he's put in front of me. Bear with them in love. And that's the thought for this night. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great evening. Good night. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.